or just as Anna. I actually went to university with Anna in St. Thomas, and there were classes that nobody wanted to get up for. So I'm wondering if there are things on your call sheet when you read them that you think, oh, I don't want to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> okay. Are there things on the call sheet that sometimes we go, oh my gosh, I really don't want to do that. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Hungry like a wolf. <laughs> I know you all like it, but I was... The story behind that shirt is one of my best friends, Matt, made that shirt for me for my 40th birthday, which was... Yeah? And this gentleman amazingly thought to bring it. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, he, he made the t-shirts for everybody at the party. So everybody I'm, at this 40th party was wearing one of those Except for Casey, no, because listen, it didn't honestly, matter this party. Honestly, every, every, his brain packs us. Every gift that he gets us has his face on it. <laughs> what? Beer, wine. The first year rap he put, up, he put a, a, his face on a wine bottle. Who does that? But I was holding, in the picture, I was holding a bottle and peeing in it. The whole gag was that it was supposed to be a wolf piss. <laughs> Surprising how good that stuff tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a boost. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm sure all of us, John. I, I, I mean, the number one thing is the time. When we see that call time on the call sheet, oh, yeah, that's it's like, one. hell no. <laughs> My it's personal favorite. 530? 530. Yeah. I got it. 430 is not, it's, it's in my contract. That's not actually, my <laughs> Actually, I think one in the afternoon is worse. Really? When it starts, no. then you're like, one in the afternoon, you're like, oh, great, I'm going to be up till four in the morning. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that over 5.30 in the morning. Okay, but let's, let's extrapolate on this woman's question, because this is a good one. What, what did you dread? What something that you dreaded? I just told you. No, besides the call sheet, like, something. Okay, never mind. He's, he's just tiring. <laughs> He hates getting up in the it's morning. It's too early! <laughs> um, I don't know, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff in four. It's true. There's a, there's a load of stuff in four that I'm like, oh, do I really have to do that? <laughs> All day in that. <laughs> <laughs> Being treated like that. <laughs> that's going to be painful. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's right. I can't say anything about it, but there's one thing in particular that, that I really dread to see. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. We can't give it away because it's a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just uncomfortable. <laughs> you guys are going to love to see spoilers. Spoilers. Spo non spoiler. That sucks when we can't give spoilers. I know. That's just why, you know, in the old days when none of this was like put immediately on the web for everybody to see, we can tell you all kinds of stuff because you're here and you're special. <laughs> we can yeah. tell you all the things we're not allowed to tell you now because you all have your phones out. Yeah. <laughs> if everybody puts their phones away, if we all agree, really if we think where all of us are attending the entire plot line for season four. Thank you, swear. Uh, I still see red lights glowing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, but you won't picky swear that we can't do it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. One person. I know, I'm pretty sure Jay Firestone has, has snipers in the. <laughs> yeah. With tranquilizers because we're under option. So, <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. Like now the trailers, we have... <laughs> Sorry, what? They, no, it's a serious business. God damn, nice yes, question. it is. Damn it, damn it. Yes, it is. Um, in our trailers, we have these no, like, signs. No cameras, no Twitter, no Instagram. Is yeah. You know? yeah. Like, it's, oh, yeah. It, it lock. Yeah, it's, it's, it's become really difficult, I would say, for actors now. It, it is tough because uh, the spoilers can go around the world so quickly. Yeah, and it's it's tough for the writers because you know they want to excite you. They want you to see everything for the first time and, and and be really excited by it. And as soon as one spoiler goes out, especially when we're mid-season, then it, sometimes they have to rewrite plot lines or it ruins things that they planned. It's, it, it's quite difficult, and we're kind of in the firing line because we can't do anything. So it's, it's actually quite hard for us because we can't give you as much as we want to give you because we're kind of protecting the product, which is really important. So it's not that we don't want to give you things. It's just, it's tough. But when you do see the show, and especially season four, you're going to be really excited. Yeah, listen, don't, don't blame us. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the other, other guys. We're like the yeah, UK who showed up to the yeah, orgy. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to participate. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, we, we can make so. a pact with yes. the audience that you can yes. ask anything about season three. Yes. Go ahead, yes. okay. Hi. Uh, so it's funny that you mentioned impersonating oh. Zoe. Uh, my question is actually about the uh, body switching episode. <laughs> Say after she saw your version of Kinsey. I think she blushed. Which was the best compliment she could ever give me. Uh, it was a lot of fun and a lot of prep. We were both, uh, yeah, well, it was not a lot of time to prep, but no, I mean, the time that we were given, we kind of just really were grinding it out. Uh, you know what? He saved my ass, to be honest, because he's the one who told me what was going to be happening. I had no idea there was going to be. Body switching, you shouldn't. You know, he just saw the, the whole inside scoop, and he came to me days before, and he said, "Hey, hey, so uh, did anyone tell you? Probably not. So I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You're gonna be playing Kiara. What? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? So I had days to, yeah, uh, to try and figure to this be out. a British woman. Oh, <laughs> what a nightmare." <laughs> God, you were very good face to face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, that episode is actually one of our favorites as a group because we all got to work together. Like, we were all in the doll. We, it was like theater school. We, we were helping each other out, like Anna. And None of them went to theater school. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Brother man over here throwing us under the bus. Any chance he gets. Any chance. But we can challenge him and say, okay, so Vex wasn't in that episode, but if you'd had to switch bodies with anybody, who would it have been? I, I don't know. I, oh, what, theater school didn't prepare you for this? <laughs> Which side would you choose, light or dark? <laughs> <laughs> That's an absolute no-brainer. I always dark. <laughs> would, why would you be light? It's so boring. <laughs> and you know what? I kind of have to agree. I'd probably try to take a little dance on the dark side myself. <laughs> this would be Evian if I was light. I would just be seeing little red riding hoods. Everywhere. <laughs> light. I would stay light. Just want to peace. Let him be the nice guy. We have more sex. Save the whales. <laughs> Save I do not want to comment at all on Casey's sexual styles because I'm sure they're. I'm sorry. Not Casey, right? I'm <laughs> I had a question for Casey. In most situations, sirens are portrayed as female. How did you feel about being a male siren? <laughs> oh, well. Huh. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I would have played a drag queen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter. You just, all you want to do is you just want to portray it as, you know, as best as you can. And um, I had no problems with it at all. I just wanted to be the best male siren possible. I know it's boring, it's a boring answer, but it's the truth. It's, it's, you know, if you're gonna be the bad guy, be the best bad guy, right? So it's kinda, that's how I, I went about it. Um, you know, at first, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, go 
don't laugh, and don't laugh. I had no idea there wasn't a male siren. Yeah, I thought that could be male or female. I had no idea it was kind of, you know, strictly a female thing. And then when I heard that it kind of is, I was like, oh, all right, so do I have to be kind of feminine about this? <laughs> and they were like, that's not the guy we're looking for. And so I said, all right, so I had to learn a little bit about it, you know, um, kind of to, to backtrack a bit and answer someone else's question. You know, when I first got this role, I literally thought I was going to be in one episode and kind of out. Um, so, you know, once my character started to reoccur, I started to realize that, okay, this is a world that I really need to understand. And, um, you know, because I wasn't in the original pilot, and um, I'm sure most people don't know that. We actually reshot the pilot to um, include uh, him. So, um, and, and so, 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 um, so, you know, it was a, it was, it was a great, great, great lesson. I mean, this world is incredible, and like Chris said, there's no other genre like it. And, um, it, I, like, I, I watched sci-fi, but I had no idea about the world. I didn't even know what it were cons. So, once I got into this and realized the kind of appreciation, yeah. uh, it makes you want to really do your homework. And to elaborate on that, it's, it's, incredible, it's an incredible opportunity to create a character that hasn't really, that, that sometimes hasn't existed. Like, I mean, you know, the, the male siren, I, I, have we ever seen that on screen? No. A mesmer? No. Wolf? Yeah, there's tons of them. <laughs> <laughs> but he does it the best. <laughs> But it's an amazing opportunity to create something as an actor and uh, that, that's original, that you get to do on screen, uh, that then you get to do over X amount of seasons. And I feel that we also have quite a lot of input in terms of where we take the characters and what we do with them, which is really, really unique as well for a show, because of the, the way the show is produced and the access that Jay Firestone has just to really create this world, and he loves this show. And, you know, he really does allow our input. He, they're always asking us questions about the characters. So I feel really, really privileged to be able to create a character like Vex. And I, I, I feel like it's all of our own creation. Where sometimes on shows you go in and you are really doing somebody else's character or a character that is so stereotypical that's been done so many times and they just want to repeat. But I feel we're doing something original, which is a privilege and a Absolutely. pleasure. And one thing on Jay Firestone, um, and I guess the rest of the 